welcome to the retry for the renovation video and so uh, I just want to thank those who've been helping out with uh, with all the renovations so far our staff has been uh, man, working really hard I just want to thank my parents I want to thank the roof saws and I want to thank uh, those who have been coming in and volunteering their time uh, such as brother Phil Hanneman brother Phil Falso uh, uh, brother Chuck and also uh, brother Brian and uh, I want to thank them for their help. We got lots more work to do, uh, but I'm really excited about these renovations. I'm really excited to kind of show you some of the stuff that we've been doing and talk about how I think it's going to be a great help for our church. So first of all, we're going to start right over here on the side of the building here. And so we started doing some digging over here in the next few weeks. Uh, Brother Gene Joss is going to get an excavator over here and he's going to dig out the entire side of this building here. And so we need to do that because we've been getting a lot of water coming into the basement of the church for years. And we've tried a lot of different things uh, to fix that problem. And this is something that can fix it permanently. So he'll dig that out. And Brother Lou Baldwin's going to come and I think Chuck's going to help him. And they're going to uh, clean up the whole wall there and parge it so no water can ever get in there again and so that will uh, stop uh, the, the water from coming in and hinder from mold from getting in there and so that's going to be a big big project that we're going to do and something that's needed and we got the time to do it so now we're going to head inside and uh, man I'm really excited about the things that will be going on in the foyer it's going to give a whole new look to the uh, to the entrance of the church so you notice here we've ripped out the flooring repainted the, all the walls. Uh, there was a door here uh, going to the office. Uh, we took out the door and placed a big window in there and you'll be able to look and see right through that window inside there. And so right here will be a countertop and this will be our welcome center and so that when guests and visitors come in we can welcome them, give them a gift and uh, just make them feel like they're part of our family. Uh, right away and so we're excited about that and so all this has all been re drywalled in here a new door a new pocket door and a uh, desk will go over here and then the safe and everything will go back there and everything but this will be all done repainted we got these uh, lights that are hanging down right now they're actually beyond the ceiling but since we're uh, uh, drywalling uh, that's uh, they're hanging there for now and so then this is gonna look great and uh, we still got uh, work to do on the foyer here that we're, we're going to do. And this is going to look all new in here. And then the back wall of the church, we're not going to the auditorium right now, but that back wall is all being repainted uh, too to give that a fresh look. All right, now we're going to head downstairs. And so you'll notice the handrails. These are all new handrails uh, that have been put in. We replaced the handrails around the entire church. And uh, those are nice, uh, solid uh, oak handrails that are very sturdy. Uh, next, we see here that uh, this whole hallway has been repainted. Uh, we also redid the ceiling. And so there's all new ceiling tiles, new lights, uh, and nice and bright. Uh, flat panel lights, it gives a real nice sleek look. Uh, the beams have all been framed in there, and so they look really nice. All the classrooms have been repainted and also there's going to be brand new flooring going in and that's going to be going in this week and so man this flooring has been down probably since the building was built um, about 45 years ago and uh, so it's it's time and uh, man that flooring is going to give it a real great look and we're looking forward to that and so every room has been repainted new flooring new molding is going to be going in there Also in all the, the, uh, the classrooms, especially the kids' classrooms, we want to get new furniture and new chairs uh, for them. We have, and we've had the same chairs for, I don't know, 30, 40 years. And so uh, it's, time, it's time for that also. I love this uh, wall here. We just go in and paint this wall. It looks like a great accent wall. Repaint the doors. And then we'll come down this hallway. And so this hallway was 
repainted everything a few weeks ago. Uh, well, actually, we started this in January, I believe. And then the all the brand new carpet is down. And man, this carpet's great. I wish you could be here right now and smell the smell. Of course, um, all the stuff that's in the hallway right now is from the classrooms on the other side. We had to clear those out so that they can put the flooring down this week. And so obviously it makes it look a little cluttered now, but none of this will be here. The ceiling, the, uh, the, the lights, all brand new uh, again. And uh, all the classrooms have been repainted. Uh, a few of them have just been touched up, but the majority of them have been repainted. And so we'll be able to take a peek in a few of those. Eventually, when the teachers get a chance, they'll be able to come in and, and add some things to it, like, like Brother Allen did here. He uh, decorated his room, uh, put up a new, new bulletin board and a new marker board. And so those are also some things that we might want to purchase for the classrooms. And uh, Brother Tim's room looks really good also. Stair the stairwell here um, has been uh, fixed up real good, new railings there. And then the last thing we'll do is we'll head up the back hallway, and uh, the back hallway stairs have been recarpeted also, so we'll take a look at that. See, the stairs look really good, brand new carpet, nice durable carpet here, uh, brand new handrails. They did a great job putting this carpet in. So that's the renovation tour and, and all that we've, do, we've done so far. I'm glad you're able to come and see that with us. But I just want to remind you uh, quickly about our uh, theme for this year, for 2020. It's come and see. And so although you've not been able to come here uh, physically, and come and see what's going on. I'm glad we got to share a little bit about it. But I think the church is about the spiritual aspect, you know. And uh, although we're not, we're not together, uh, we are meeting together. Uh, but we need to be reaching souls for Christ. And I think that these renovations are going to help us to be able to do that. And so that our church is not a hindrance when people come in. We want to have a great first impression for visitors and for people that come in and when they see the classrooms, when they see everything going on, I think that will really be a help and encouragement to want to come back and so that we, we have a chance to minister to them and to see souls saved. And so if you could uh, pray, pray about giving towards these projects, we could really uh, use the money to help to, to accomplish all these things. And I think your gift uh, will, uh, will be used of God to further the gospel. And so uh, uh, just an idea of how you could possibly give is, uh, you know, if we had 100 people that gave $20.20 per week for the next 10 weeks, that would be $20,200. $20, and so uh, that would be a great help in that aspect. Of course, if you just want to give a big lump sum or however you want to do it, uh, we'd be fine with that. That's an idea that would help. And so though that money would go towards all the re renovations that we're doing right now and also towards purchasing furniture for, for all the classrooms. We need storage cabinets. We need chairs and some tables and uh, maybe some desks and file cabinet for the office. And so, uh, you know, we need something that's going to be durable uh, for the classroom so we can't necessarily pick up something uh, cheap that's going to, you know, possibly fall apart when a, a kid pulls on it or something. And so uh, we need some good quality stuff that will last a long time. And uh, so your contributions would be a great help in getting that done. And so, man, we're just uh, looking, taking this year of 2020 as a year of vision and just thinking about what God can do uh, through our church in the future. And so looking forward to coming back and meeting together 
and kind of having that reveal of that grand opening uh, to be able to see all this work uh, finished and completed. Uh, thanks for joining us. Have a great night.